Should Connecticut ban smoking in cars where there are small children? Yeah, that is the question state lawmakers will take up later this week in the powerful Transportation Committee. Chief political correspondent Mark Davis joins us live with more on that proposal tonight. Mark. Hi, Sonia and Darren. Good evening, everyone, from the Hartford Newsroom. Yeah, if this gets the green light over at the state capitol, the new law would be when you buckle up the kids, it's all smokes out. For nearly eight years, Connecticut law has required all kids under age 7 and under 60 pounds to ride in a strapped-down child restraint seat. Infants under one year of age and under 20 pounds must be rear-facing in their car seats. Now, state lawmakers are considering adding a ban on smoking in all vehicles containing children in car seats. State Representative Henry Jenga of East Hartford has been pushing for this since 2008 and says the overwhelming medical research favors it. Until they're the age of seven, their immune systems are not mature. So they require a lot more air than you and I would, multiple times more. And Jenga says that the research debunks the theory that all you have to do is crack some of the windows to make it safe. The secondhand smoke with the windows cracked is greater than the smoky bars that we uh, ban today. Police say it wouldn't be that difficult to enforce as a tandem part of the child restraint law. One mom we spoke with today thinks it would be a good education tool. I think it would help to raise awareness on the impact that this has on kids, and I think that there's tremendous value in that, and so I would love to see it make some sort of a difference. And for those that think this is too much interference in personal lives, Jenga says it would be just another driving regulation. Seat belts, cell phones, child restraint seats, and uh, children wearing helmets. This just makes sense. It's common sense. It's the right thing to do. Now, for first offenders, there would be no fine. It would just be a warning from the police. This proposal will get a full public airing for the first time from the legislature's Transportation Committee Wednesday morning of this week. Live from the Hartford Newsroom, Mark Davis, News 8.